Hi, I'm Tara Tyler, Head of Communications at VoiceBunny.com, and today I'm going to show you our new audio players, and the coolest thing about our new audio players, our favorites feature. So when you sign in to VoiceBunny.com, you're going to notice this new little heart over here in the top right corner. This is how you're going to access your favorites lists. Now, if you haven't saved any favorites, you're going to have to do that first. But the cool thing about the new audio players is that anywhere you find a voice on VoiceBunny.com, whether you're using our search and book or it's a project that you've posted previously, you can save them to a favorites list, make new lists, and make notes about that particular sample right from the player. I'll show you how it works. So let's go to our dashboard. This is where we're going to find all the projects I've posted previously and scroll down and click the details button next to a project. Scroll down to the bottom and that's where you're going to find the audio player. Now, the fact that this heart is red and has a checkbox in it means I've already added this voice actor to one of my favorites. So I can click the drop down arrow and I can see, oh, he's on the announcers I like list. If you just click this is normally what it looks like. If you just click the heart like this, it's going to add it to your default list. You can still make a note. So um, announcer might be a good tag for him. And uh, it'll go on your default list. However, if you want to put him on a different list, just use the drop down menu. I can put him on the announcers I like list. Add a note if I want. Or I can even create a new list right from the player. So I can make a new list called... Um, Morgan Freeman sound alikes. <laughs> Who knows, right? He doesn't actually sound like Morgan Freeman, but that's okay. So that's how uh, that's how you make a new list, and you can of course add a note and save it. So that's how you add it to your favorites list. You'll also notice this button. If you click that, it'll allow you to share this read on Twitter, Facebook, and G+. So you can ask your friends their opinion, or just share how cool your project is. You can also get an embed code. You can even pick the color of the player or enter in a color that matches your website or your blog. Then just copy and paste the iframe code uh, right into the HTML on your blog or on your website and it'll embed the player for you. There's also the download button. So if you'd like to get an MP3 really quickly of that audio file, just download it. So now when we go to our favorites, we can access all of our lists. Uh, I have so many to choose from. I'm not sure which one I like the best. I can copy and paste this URL, send it in an email to my coworkers, and let everybody else weigh in on which ones they like the best. You can also make notes right from this page. So I could put, you know, that this guy sounds like um, Mike Rowe. And hit enter. That'll save it. If I wanted to go ahead and book him, we make it really easy. Just click on the book this voice button and it'll take us to post a project just for this particular voice actor. So I hope that the favorites feature makes it a little easier to collaborate on your projects. And as always, if you need any kind of help or advice, our awesome client services team is standing by. Just click the contact us button. Lots of ways to get in touch and we hope that you will. So thanks for using Voice Bunny to get human professional voices on demand for your scripts.